what this product really is. So I have a presentation for us here. Um, we can see Microsoft 365 Defender is actually a defense suite. Now it consists of a lot of different components that are gonna end up feeding it information. And notice it's really designed for pre and post breach. So there is maybe some reconnaissance going on against your Microsoft 365 tenant. It would catch that as kind of a pre breach component, or let's say we have been successfully attacked. Uh, hopefully not, but it does happen. And when that happens, this is a tool that's gonna give us a lot of great information about that. So another thing that's nice about it is it's a place where we can kind of coordinate our security actions that are gonna be influencing a whole bunch of different Microsoft products. So it's kind of a great single pane of glass, as Microsoft likes to say, for managing security from all this different stuff. One of my favorite features is the automated correlation it will do. So maybe we have this phishing attack coming in against our exchange presence, and then sure enough, we have some documents that are accessed by unauthorized individuals. Then sure enough, there's some distortion of SharePoint data. What this product will do for us is it will figure out, oh boy, like all those attacks came from the same IP address. So it will be able to correlate for us multiple events. Sophie and I will be talking about in an upcoming episode how that can be really, really important because a lot of administrators these days start to drown under all these different alerts they're getting. If they could correlate them in some easy way, they'd be much more effective, and that's what this product can do. And then, for those of you brave enough, it will automatically remediate. And I kind of joke about that. It is typically a very safe process. These automated remediations we're aware of, we'll discuss them in the episodes that follow. So it's not like this is artificial intelligence completely taking over your Microsoft 365 environment. This is just common thoughtful things that are gonna take place. Like we receive some known malware in email, it's gonna automatically remediate that by quarantining that email. So those are the types of things that we're talking about to help us stay safe. Now, the big question that you might have about this product is, okay, so wait a minute, it's taking the data from a whole bunch of other products and it's presenting it to us? What are those other products? Now, I'm not gonna read to you here, obviously, but I did wanna list for you all of the different products that are feeding the Microsoft 365 Defender Notice it's a ton. If you haven't been around Microsoft cloud-based tech in a while, you might be stunned by this list. A lot of students that I talk to, I'll say, are you familiar with Microsoft Defender? And they go, of course, I work with it every day. What are they talking about? Well, they're talking about Defender for endpoints. That's what they're talking about. So notice Microsoft Defender is now a lot more than just Microsoft Defender. There's Defender for endpoints, there's Defender for identity, there's Defender for cloud apps, Office 365. I told you I wasn't gonna read you this list, so I will not. But yeah, there's a lot of different products now, and you can see why Microsoft wanted to give us a single pane of glass where we could see major incidents and alerts and things of that nature that are coming from all of these products. So this is kind of an aside, but the I noticed it said that Azure Active Directory was something that this works with. Yes. By the time this hits our website, I think they're rebranding re Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID. Great point. I am so glad you brought that up because that name is going to change here as well. Yeah, so please know that, everyone. Azure Active Directory. And I think you guys broke this on Technado, we did which talk will be it. coming out later this week. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Azure Active Directory is going to be named Entra ID, which does not roll off my tongue at all. 
So I don't like the new name, uh, but anyways, there it is, Entra ID, and we're gonna see that product name change. By the way, if you're interested in identity protection, that is something that Sophie and I just taught. Um, it'll be hitting our library soon, and it is in a module of content that's all about Azure Active Directory identity, soon to be known as Entra ID. But uh, we'll visit a little bit about these various topics, these various products. We'll be discussing them as appropriate as we move through this material. So great, we have all these Microsoft products that are feeding security data into this one single pane of glass called Defender 365, or uh, Microsoft 365 Defender, there we go. Anyways, what does it protect? Well, here's what it protects. This is seeking to protect endpoints, so your laptops, your, uh, your tablets, your Surface Pros, all those wonderful Microsoft endpoints out there. It's looking to protect assets like maybe file servers and print servers that you have in your enterprise and SharePoint servers. It's looking to protect email, no surprise there. It's looking to protect collaboration tools like Teams and SharePoint. It's looking to protect those important identities in Azure AD or Entra ID as we're gonna see it named. And finally, it's looking to protect those cloud-based or those just Office 365 applications that we know and love. Now, I wanted to give you a screenshot here of this product in action. And the reason why I did this is I wanted to show you just how sophisticated it can be at bringing all of this information truly together. Sure, Sophie and I are gonna create some alerts and some incidents and things for us to look at, but they're gonna be very basic because Sophie and I aren't gonna sit down here and engineer some massive malware campaign against our tenant, but in the real world, that could happen. And as you can see from this screenshot, this is what it would look like. Notice how amazing this product is going to be at telling us about attacks. In this case, it was one impacted device, two impacted users, and 38 impacted mailboxes. And notice it even tells us the alerts and categories that we're dealing with, in other words, with the official MITRE attack techniques and tactics, which of those were actually utilized. So it is able to do intense correlation here and give security administrators a really, oh gosh, elegant way to describe what is happening to their devices and their apps and their email out there in their environment. It really is an impressive product. Do you think there's going to be more products feeding into this security product? I sure do. I sure do. I think we're going to continue to see various security products named Defender from Microsoft, and I think they're going to feed into this product. Unless they undergo another name change. Yes, that's right. In which right. case, we'll cover that when it happens. I'll tell you, one of the things about teaching Microsoft, certainly, but I'm sure some of you out there that have been working with Microsoft Tech Forever know it can be really challenging to keep up with name changes. So it's just kind of Microsoft's thing. They have always been big time marketing uh, their products. And of course, along with marketing goes product name.